We've got the Emmy-winning host and producer, no stranger to handling chaos. He's got nearly two decades of Real Housewives drama under his belt. But these days, Andy's working with a whole new type of personality, a four-year-old. I told you you could watch one, and how many did you watch? Two. Two. So that was so nice of me. So then how is there a third in play? You know, two no, mighty expresses. You want three more? Yeah. I kind of feel like I'm negotiating with the terrorist right now. Oh, my gosh. A hundred percent. One thousand. Yes. And I'm sure that happens, like, every other day. Every yeah. morning. Over something. Something. Andy is here to spill the beans on his life as a proud papa with his new book, <gasps> The Daddy Diaries. Andy, good Come morning. On. Good morning. You know, I just love you because not only is it just super honest and relatable. It's also like we get a peek inside this crazy life that is yours yes. with all these like celebrities and yes. name dropping and it's fun. Yeah. It's just I, fun. I thought I was done with the diary format. Yeah. But this year, I, you know, I started writing the day after I put de Blasio on blast on oh. New Year's Eve. Oh, and I thought, you know what? I think this could be a fun <laughs> book because now I've got two kids. You know, I had Ben and then a baby on the way oh. and I drop a lot of names and it's very funny, I hope. But also it's a lot about parenting and my journey as a single parent trying to figure it out. Yeah. I think it's pretty relatable. I think that journey is so unique and interesting because there are a lot of parents out there, but being a single parent, which I sort of am in that boat at yes. this moment too, um, what have you learned about parenting through with two kids? A lot. Tell I me. mean, I, I will say I went through life and I still do. Every morning I wake up and my resting mood is a good mood <laughs> no, because, yeah. until someone tells me differently. Yeah, but I have to say that this year, the subtitle of the book is The Year I Grew Up. And I have to say, I accessed a weight about me uh -huh. and a sense of worry that I've never really <laughs> had. And I am now thinking, what the heck did I worry <laughs> about? <laughs> Five years ago, what was I worried about? What my are your order? Yeah. What are my worries? Right now, yes. Anything. Like? Schedules. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. food, yeah. allergies, <laughs> play dates, yes. the nursery school, you know, spring fling. I mean, <laughs> there are things on my calendar that I'm navigating through that I've never, you know. Oh, sometimes it feels like 90% of parenting is logistics. Yeah. Oh, Just like sure. who goes yes. where. Then, But the other weight, I'm sure, is because you love these babies yeah. I love them. So I want to be everything for them. Yes. And I think as a single parent, there is, for any parent, but as a single parent, there is a feeling of I need to be there and I'm always kicking myself for time not spent with them mm -hmm. and trying to dissect what it all means and seeking out parent friends for advice. Uh, yeah, How but I wouldn't trade it for the world, by the way. Yes. Did, having a second child, was that a layup for you? Were you like, I've got to do that? It was. You and I talked about that uh -huh. a lot. I did it. You know, look, I, I wanted a girl. And also just for Ben. I mean, I just wanted him to have a family. I have an older sister. Yeah. We were always a unit growing up. And it's like built-in buddies. And I just wanted a family that we could say this is us yeah you know? I always tell yeah. my kids of course they're always fighting but I always say like you know what a brother or a sister is a best friend for life yes, yes. You know? I agree by the way speaking of your sister and home yeah what an honor <gasps> for you over the weekend oh, I, it's great. anyone who knows you knows how much you love st. Yes. Louis yes how much your hometown means to you well yes. guess what you mean a lot to your hometown you got the star, I got a star next to in John Hamm. Louis in the loop and next to John Ham. John Ham and I people confuse us <laughs> constantly for a litany of reasons, but there we are Mom in cement. There are my parents. They were so excited. We 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 got one in Hollywood a year and a half wow. ago, and we were pulling out from St. Louis. And my mom goes, "Well, that was better than the Hollywood." One. I'm like, "Was it?" Okay. Yes. Yeah, no, it was. It was amazing. There's no place like home. And Ben was there. Ben was the there. So he goes, "I'm I'm done with the stars." <laughs> Is yeah. that what he said? He, yes. Oh my gosh. He goes, "Are we?" I, that morning, I go, "Remember when I got a star?" in California. Yeah. Well, I'm getting one today. He goes, you are? Uh, like, well, he thinks people get stars. He's all starred yeah. out. He is. He's over it. By the way, this book is hilarious. So fun. It's funny. You. When you read it, you'll feel great. By Thank the way, you. Hoda, well, you, we, Hoda makes many appearances in it. Hoda makes a few appearances yeah. in it. Yes, I lied to both of you on Thanksgiving, um, which you'll read about in the oh, book. Oh, what? Yes. Okay.
okay. on television. Well, mm. thanks for coming. Yeah. You're welcome. Boy, Hodes, you're oh. still rocking those bracelets. <laughs> Always for you. What's it going to take? It's They're never I coming. Love it. They're for you. Thank uh, you. You're coming back. By the way, I love those. You I'll be it? back in the 10. Yeah, you're coming Do you back. you have me? Of course. Love you. Thank you. You've got to buy the Daddy Diaries on sale tomorrow. Head to today.com slash books for more. Thanks, Carson, Thank we love you. you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.